Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I've been promising this video for a long, long time. Many subscribers have been asking for this video on how to frame your 30 by 30s, 30 by 40s, and larger diamond paintings. I recently purchased a few additional products that I did want to show you. So I was waiting for those items to come in. One was delayed, just came in about an hour ago. So I thought I would quick get this video recorded for you guys. So first up, we have our scrapbook. This is for your 30 by 30 diamond paintings. So just your small little snack size. I got this uh, scrapbook at, gosh, was it Michael's or Hobby Lobby? Hmm, can't remember. But I fell in love with it. And I do have a few diamond paintings framed in here. And I believe I have a video out showing this one and how I framed it. So I do have a few. Now this one um, was an actual 30 by 30. Most, when they say they're a 30 by 30, it's a 30 by 30 with the border. <laughs> so then you can cut off the white border and you mount them on scrapbook paper. Now I have some over here. There are tons of scrapbook paper out there to buy. These are 12 by 12 inch. I bought a whole bunch of colors. I have a whole bunch more up there that I purchased as packs off Amazon. Um, then I did buy some Joann's a while ago was having a fantastic sale. I think it was last year sometime. Um, I think the, they originally were $19.99 and I think they were on clearance for like $5.99. <laughs> so I picked up like four or five bags. This happens to be the glitter pack and it's just gorgeous. So many pretty glittery colors in here. I love it. I have not used it yet. Look at that one. <laughs> so any scrapbook paper that is, you know, your standard 12 by 12 inch size would work in your 30 by 30 scrapbooks. Um, which is your, again, your standard size. I am going to put links down below in the description to everything I show today. I'm only going to link one scrapbook down below, and then you can go ahead and look at all the other scrapbooks once you click on that link. Um, because, yeah, even though there's a lot at Hobby Lobby and Michael's, all your craft stores, there are a lot of pretty ones on Amazon, too. So, that is uh, for the 30 by 30 diamond paintings. Now, let's take a look at what's available for 30 by 40s. Never mind my legs. <laughs> I have to keep it zoomed way out to show you these because these portfolios are going to be getting bigger and bigger. Matter of fact, let me get this other stuff out of the way and on the floor. All right, here we have a few portfolios uh, options for your 30 by 40 uh, diamond paintings. They have some of these in different colors. They also have the standard black portfolio. These are really pretty. They fit 30 by 40 diamond paintings perfectly. Now, 
they fit in perfectly with the white border on. However, there are many, many framing options if you don't want this white border on and you'd like to cover it up. We're going to go over a bunch of different options, okay? Now, this would apply to any of the binders that I am going to be showing um, next, uh, larger binders. So, first up, there are many, many different colored masking tapes. So, what you would do, maybe cut the white border down so that it's about the size of this the width, and then put your masking tape on here, and it would make a really nice frame. If you want to go with a thinner, or I have some smaller rolls, and these are just a little bit thicker than the big rolls. Matter of fact, no, wouldn't quite be big enough yet. All depends on how big of a white border you have on your diamond painting. But as you can see, this pack has a lot of different colors on it. Now it, they are smaller rolls, but I think you would have enough to, you know, do a 30 by 40 on there. I haven't tried it but that is another option. So we have a number of masking tape options, all kinds of colors out there. Then, as you are probably well aware, we have a ton of different colors and designs of duct tape. They have come out within the past few years so many pretty duct tapes. Um, I picked out this one. I only bought a couple to show you guys. I thought this would be pretty for a number of different colored diamond paintings. And then the wood one, because it would look like a regular wood frame, wouldn't it? Now, because this is wider than your probably standard white border, you would cut some of this off. There's a couple ways that I cut my diamond paintings. If I'm cutting the entire white border off, or, you know, when uh, I work with the masking tape and I have to cut some of this off, I like to use my handy dandy scissors. Now this is a Tim Holtz scissors. I love this scissors. Um, I only use it for my diamond paintings and my canvas when I make my own stretched canvases. Um, is not used on paper or anything like that. Or you can use your utility knife and a ruler. Um, I like this utility knife. Number one, it's pretty. <laughs> Number two, it came with a bunch of uh, replacement blades. So I'll link this down below. Like I said, I'll link everything. I think uh, I don't have to link the ruler though. <laughs> so those are a couple of options, or a few, not a couple, um, of options for framing. And of course, we have many, many options of washi tape. I mean, we all know there are a gazillion different washi tapes out there. This, um, these are just some that I have. This is an organizer from Michaels. Um, I did purchase a couple of sets off of Amazon that I thought were really pretty. They had some really pretty rolls in this set. Like, isn't that pretty? I mean, a lot of purples and you could use this for, um, like there's some sky blue in here. 
regular blue. There's a bunch more colors in here. Some more blue, pink. Um, so that is one set that I thought would be really pretty. And then another set that I bought is this set. And these are just plain pastel colors. Very narrow, but if you don't want a big border around your diamond painting, you want a thin frame. I thought all these pretty pastel colors would be nice. They're pretty. So, you know, depending on what color, what design, you know, print and stuff you're looking for, tons of washi tape, as you know, both out on Amazon and again in your craft stores all over. But again, I will link these two and once you're over on Amazon, you can search to your heart's content. <laughs> okay. Now, the other option to frame, if you want to cut the border off. Okay. How would I frame that then? Put some of this stuff to the side. I have a large desk, but really shrinks fast. <laughs> what can I do to frame these? They have some very large sets of construction paper. All different colors are in this set. Um, I didn't open it up, but all your main colors are in here. There are 20 colors. This is called Art Paper Fadeless, which I guess if it's staying in a book, it doesn't matter if it's fadeless or not. But there are 60 sheets in here, so there are three of each color. This is 12 by 18 inches, so that would be 30 by 45 centimeters. So if we have a 30 by 40, the 30 inch going across this way would fit perfectly, right? Depending upon how accurate your, your diamond painting is, it may be a centimeter or two off. And then going this way, you would have to cut about five centimeters off. And that's when I would use my ruler and um, scissors or utility knife. Measure, you know, up a number of places. First, you know, see how far up you want to go. Measure it in a couple places, especially way at the end. Cut that off so that you have the color that you want and cut off to the right size. And then, how do I get that construction paper underneath my picture? Again, many, many options. <laughs> I just brought out a couple options. I like using my Tombow glue tape. Uh, this is used a lot in scrapbooking. And all you do is go down and the glue comes out on a strip. It's double-sided. Um, typically, I would not use this on diamond paintings, but because it's going in a binder in these protective sheets, I don't think it would come off the construction paper. And I would just maybe do a couple strips all the way down, and maybe this way. Um, but I think a more economical way of doing it would be gluing them down. You can use your standard white school glue um, and either do the back of this or the top of your construction paper. Um, or I like this stuff. This is by Aline's. This is the original tacky glue. Now she has a ton of different types of glue out there. 
um, maybe one to use. They have one that is, oh gosh, what is it called? Stick it over and over or it's kind of movable. So if you get something in the wrong position, you can kind of adjust it. So that might be an option. Um, I'll link, you know, a number of hers down below. But like I said, maybe your most economical option would just be like your Elmer school glue or the generic school glue. Um, you know, very cheap school glue. So yeah, that would be a great option. Okay. All right. So yeah, like I said, many, many different framing options for your portfolios. Okay, so that was the 30 by 40s. Now, it gets bigger. <laughs> what if you have a larger diamond painting than a 30 by 40? Well, guess what? These presentation binders get even bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Construction paper does too. <laughs> Here is a big whopper. This fits A2 paper. So the size of this fits a 40 by 60 centimeter diamond painting. <laughs> I do happen to have a diamond painting over here that is a 40 by 50. I couldn't find um, a 40 by 60 real handy. So I just grabbed, yeah, this is, I need a bigger desk. This is uh, the closest I could find and I am zoomed out as far as I can go. But as you can see, sort of kind of let me move a couple more things um the very top fits very nicely this would be centered top to bottom even though you can't see the bottom but then left to right it also fits perfectly now again you can leave the white border on and because this one is so large, if you only have a 40 by 50, you probably would want to leave the border on and then use, again, masking tape. Um, I think the, the brown, the woodwork uh, duct tape, I think would work awesome uh, for many diamond paintings. Um, but yeah, so 40 by 50s fit in here. Um, 40 by 60s would fit perfectly because they would be centered then on these sheets. So that is that one. Guess what, folks? There's one a little bit bigger than this. And I will get that one up. Oh, I do want to show you one option for framing those also. And this may work for the next portfolio too. There is some very large size construction paper. <laughs> I did manage to find this out on Amazon. This is 18 inches by 24 inches which is 45 by 60 centimeter. So this construction paper would work great for those diamond paintings uh, that I just showed you. That was a 40 by 50. You would only have to cut a little bit off. This also comes in a number of colors. You get a lot of sheets in here. I think there were 50 sheets. I can't remember the number of colors. So, But again, I'll link it down below. It will say in the description on Amazon. So yeah, you have a bunch of colors of some more construction paper that will fit your larger diamond paintings. So again, you can fit up to 45 by 60 on this. Let's look at the last portfolio. 
It's not a whole lot larger than that, so. <laughs> but it's getting a little bit bigger. We have another black one. This one fits a 45 by 60. No, the last one was a 40 by 60. No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, what did I say the last one was? Thirty by forty-five. This one is a forty-five by sixty, so like a forty by sixty would fit in here, whereas the other one was fifty. Right? I'm getting myself confused. <clears throat> so, let's look at the inside of this one. It is just a little bit wider than the other one. And the pages are falling in here. I didn't like the way they shipped this one. So I have a diamond art club <laughs> diamond painting. And you know some of these can get pretty big. This one is not. This is a Hannah Carlson picture. Isn't she cute? And this one's called Willow. And she is 42 by 59 centimeters or 16 and a half inches by 23.2 inches. And guess what? She would fit in here really nicely. Let me pull the portfolio down a little so you can see. Let me pull these straight here. So if we put it in over here at this edge, and again, I know you can't see the other edge, but there's actually plenty of room to even move her over a little bit. Or if you want to take thin washi tape and put it around, you can still give her a little border around. Again, you would just have to cut down to where you would leave a little border, enough to put the washi tape down and then you'd have a little frame for her. I myself probably wouldn't do that because these are starting to get pretty big. Um, you would go through a lot of washi tape but I think it would look really nice with that on. Now when you're framing you know as far as uh, what color would I pick out. Normally what I like to do I look through the diamond painting and I choose a color. I try to pick a color that I would like to pull out or highlight from the diamond painting. Um, and it may just be a, a color that's used just a little bit, but you'd like to highlight that color. Like for instance, maybe you wanna pull out this red orange and you could do a red orange. I wouldn't frame it with a color that's in that's a lot in the diamond painting because that'll just get lost as a frame. So maybe you would like to pull out maybe the blue of her eye, eyes, or maybe a purple, you know, something like that. I think it would be pretty, or even the pink, you know, so just a couple ideas of, you know, maybe how the colors and stuff that you could use. So, yeah, this is the biggest. There, I don't have anything bigger. Now, there may be bigger ones out there. I don't know. Um, but this is plenty big to manhandle. Um, because if you're like me, um, I like to do diamond paintings a lot just for the sheer joy of doing them. I don't frame every single one that I do. I do frame some. Um, but a person runs out of wall space, <laughs> especially for the smaller ones, your 30 by 30s or your 30 by 40s. Um, so a lot of them don't get framed. And I know I myself, I have a lot of mine stored in a great big black portfolio, an art portfolio, you know, with the handles. And it's stored underneath my bed. Um, the problem with that is, 
each of the diamond paintings are sitting right on top of one another and I'm afraid eventually those diamonds or drills might get rubbed off. So even if you don't have a portfolio out on your coffee table because these are getting too big, the scrapbook size would be perfect as a coffee table book for when you have somebody over and you can say, you know, they'll say, what is that? Then you can show it to them and maybe you'll get them in, into this addictive hobby too. But these large size portfolios, I think would be perfect for sliding under your bed, maybe bringing them out to show company, um, or, you know, just just to have the, the sheer pleasure of doing something really pretty, you know, even going through the work of framing them, because we put so much work into the diamond painting itself, right? So making them look pretty for in the portfolio, believe me, gives you a lot of satisfaction. It really does. Um, I enjoy doing that with the scrapbook. I haven't worked with the 30 by 40s yet, um, but I plan to because I do have a couple of 30 by 40s completed. So I do plan on going through and doing a few. I hope I don't hit my camera. No, I, I missed it. I do plan on going through and framing a few of my 30 by 40 diamond paintings. So I think, I think that's all I have to show you. I'm looking around at my desk. <laughs> I don't see anything else sitting here. Took me a while to gather this all together and, and uh, get ready for this video, but yeah, I had to clear off both sides of my desk. I have a large L-shaped desk. I had to take a lot off this desk. I had to clear off that desk. <laughs> yeah, a lot of, lot of big things here uh, to show you. But I think I went through everything. If you have any questions whatsoever on anything I showed on today's video, or any of the links that I'm going to put down below, please leave a comment down below. I will answer the questions to the best of my ability, um, or I will do some research and try to get you an answer. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it answers uh, a lot of uh, questions that people wanted to learn how to frame your larger diamond paintings. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye guys. Oh, happy diamond painting too. That's what this is all about. <laughs> Bye guys.